Hey y'all, as you can tell by the title, I am coming on here to talk to you guys about culture shock here in Korea, even though I have a Korean mother. Now my mother is very Korean, even though she's lived in America for a long, long time, she still usually spoke to me in Korean. We ate Korean food all the time, and she still slightly had a Korean mindset, but I didn't really realize how not Korean she was until I moved here to Korea. So there are a lot of videos that talk about like five things I don't like about Korea or five five things about Korean culture that I don't like that a lot of YouTubers are posting up. So this video is similar to that but it's coming from a girl who actually grew up with a Korean mother and just seeing how even though I grew up with a Korean mother, I, I'm not Korean, you know, like there are a lot of things that I don't really know or I didn't know about the Korean culture until I moved to Korea. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get started with one that might not actually be a culture thing, but here compared to America, it definitely happens way more here and it's extremely disgusting, you guys. So Korean people, specifically Korean men, boys, adolescents, whatever, spit. They spit anywhere, everywhere. They just spit. So when I brought this up with like some of my Korean friends, they mentioned that it's because they smoke. But people in America smoke. There are a lot of people in America that smoke who don't go around spitting everywhere. Like. I've seen them spit in subway stations, you guys. To me, a subway station is considered indoors. So why are you spitting on the floor? It's so disgusting. <sighs> this is something I can't get used to. Like some of these other things, I can get used to it because it's not really my life. Like I live here and I see it, but I'm not, it doesn't necessarily affect me, you know? So that, this, but the spitting thing is just something else. I just can't, I just can't get used to it. It's so gross. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on from that spitting stuff and move on to holding doors. People in Korea just don't do it. So if you're coming to Korea, take a, take some notes, okay? And just remember some of the things that I've mentioned here so that when you come here, you won't get offended or you won't feel some type of way about some of these things. Like you'll just be like, oh, this is how it is here. And holding doors is one of those things. People do not hold doors for you in Korea. They literally open the door just enough for their body to go in, slide through, and then let the door shut. No joke. So when you come here and you get the door slammed in your face a few times, don't think anything of it. It's just how they do things around here in these streets, okay? You just have to open your own doors. All right, so those are the two kind of just lighthearted things. I'm gonna go a little bit more into, I guess a little bit more serious things that I didn't necessarily expect from my culture, my other half, okay? Um, and that is that ladies are not first here in so many things, like not even just opening the door for you or, getting on the bus first, the subway first, whatever. Even, not even just that stuff. I'm talking about in general, like ladies, women are treated so... Hmm. I was talking to one of my Korean friends who's an older Korean woman and she was telling me a story about this Korean girl who is like woman who is so talented. She's really good at cooking. She can draw. She's a She's, a, I don't know, like a, a speaker or something, a motivational speaker maybe type of thing. I don't really know. But she's so good at so many things. And her mother, her own mother, told her to, how about you not be so good at so many things? Like you're, you're too good at too many things. Like you'll never find a husband. Like what? Excuse me. I feel like a man that cannot accept me as a successful woman, like if I am making more money than you and it makes you feel small or it makes you feel not as manly, then I don't want you anyway. Like that's just my opinion. Like if a woman is making more money than you, more talented than you, more successful than you, then lift her up more, you know what I mean? Be there for her. Don't feel like you are little 
you are less of a man because your woman is better than you financially okay or whatever the case even with my mother who is Korean she has always been such a strong super super strong independent woman and that's where I get a lot of my independence from I mean my father of course has always instilled in me to never need a man but to just want one maybe eventually in the future but my mother was such a huge woman role model as just being so strong and just taking care of business when it's necessary you should be able to be happy healthy and financially stable without the help or without the need of a man i suppose so when i came here and i just saw how weak women were well not necessarily are but how weak women pretended to be or acted just to get the attention of a man um was a little bit I don't know sad to me and it kind of like made me feel like I don't know it's just another one of those cultural things that I just wasn't feeling when I moved here especially as a strong independent woman myself so one thing you will often see when you come here are women kind of acting like babies almost and their boyfriend kind of babying them for example um, there are a lot of stairs in Korea if you don't have a car you're using public transportation and that probably includes subways and let me tell you the amount of stairs I've climbed since living in Korea are just unreal um, but I'll see a girl walking up the stairs with her boo and she is just <laughs> and what is her boyfriend doing oh come on baby I got you oh yeah let's go okay let's go slowly bruh like seriously get your life girl get your life because you know if he wasn't there you would be busting out them stairs because you know you need to get up them one way or the other so okay the next thing i'm gonna mention is not being able to speak up against seniors now this can be seniors at, as in elderly people but also seniors as in bosses this is something else that is so annoying because to me if a boss is wrong they're wrong and you should be able to tell them in a professional manner like oh actually this isn't how it's supposed to be it should be this way and they like Koreans don't feel comfortable to do that like they don't feel comfortable to tell a boss that something is wrong or tell a boss tell the boss anything <laughs> like really and then as far as not being able to speak up against elderly people lot like this this right here is something that actually affects me personally sometimes I'll give you a great example whenever I'm waiting in line sometimes an elderly will feel as if they don't need to wait in line they're just above the line rules okay so they'll walk straight up to the counter I'm, this is an example from the hospital usually this happens in the hospital they'll walk straight up to the counter and ask the front desk person whatever question they need or pay for their appointment whatever the case may be and what kills me is that the worker the person working at the front desk knows that there is a line she knows that people have been waiting for who knows how long and yet she will serve the elderly person that bothers me i feel like it is the responsibility of the person working at the desk to be like look sir look ma'am there is a line you have to wait in line these people have been waiting so you also should wait in line as well like you can say that in a professional manner and the elderly person needs to accept that because but just because you're old don't mean you can break all the rules okay like that's just not how it goes but for some reason there are some older koreans that just think they are above the law and can do whatever they want because they're old all right so the last thing i'm going to talk about because i know i'm i'm actually talking a lot more about each little thing than i expected to talk about but the last thing is going to be beauty so i know you guys have probably heard this a lot already but korea really does have this kind of one standard of beauty and this is not for everyone mind you i've even had this conversation with my middle schoolers and they seem a little bit more open-minded about what beauty is but a lot of it still 
happens now. Um, when I first moved to Korea, I worked at an English village. And at an English village, you don't have the same set of kids throughout the year. You get new kids basically every class. So every time I would get a new group of kids, they would do this thing to me, this thing this thing and they'll be counting down and in the beginning I had no clue what they were doing but as I started you know living here longer I realized that they were counting how many times my head so when you go like this from a distance you can like you know put someone's head in between your fingers like this they were counting how many times my head fits into the length of my body if your head fits in your body, I think it was eight or nine times, you are beautiful. That means your head is proportionate to your body. What? Who in the world made these rules? Where? Where did this even come from? Like, what? I found out, <laughs> out of, from my students that my head fits into my body about eight to nine times, so I am proportionate. Another thing, collarbones, y'all. You see that? I got a collarbone. I'm beautiful. You didn't know. Yep, this collarbone right here, this one right here, and the one over here, that means I'm beautiful. Yes. Um, I've had students come to me and be like, teacher, in America, do men like women with double eyelids? And I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, do people even think about that? Like, please comment below. If you are an American man, do you look at a girl and be like, dang, she got some beautiful double eyelids. Like, do you see those double eyelids? Yes. Do y'all say that? Y'all probably don't, right? My mom never made me feel as if I needed to change anything about my appearance. Um, but here in Korea, mothers will straight out tell your tell their daughter like, oh, if you had a higher bridge on your nose, you would be so beautiful. Maybe we should consider getting that for you one day. Like, and it's not a problem. Like, it's not a problem for a mother to tell their daughter that here. That's just how it is. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here. These are the five things that were a big culture shock for me when I first moved to Korea, even having a Korean mother. Um, my mother is very Korean in other ways. However, in these ways, I never ever saw or even thought for a second that this was how Koreans are and this is how the culture is. Um, but since living here, yeah, I've definitely learned a lot and I've definitely, you know, kind of had a culture shock. So when I I've had my moments where I'm just like, oh, I can't stand that about Koreans. Mind you, I am Korean, so every country has their thing. Every culture has their thing, pros, cons, things that you'll like, things that you don't like. Don't get me started on things about Americans, all right? Because there is a list of things I don't like about Americans. The only thing about Americans is that there are so many cultures in America. I think that's like the big difference about living here, and that's why when you move here, when you move to any country, you have to be respectful. You have to be, what's it called, adjustable. So when, if there's something that you don't like, you have to think to yourself, is this, is this a deal breaker? Like, do I not like this so much that I want to not live in this country anymore? You have that decision. As for me, obviously, I don't. it doesn't bother me that much to where I have to leave the country. However, it is something that I've learned about my culture that I didn't know having a Korean mother. So anyways, this is my thoughts on the Korean culture as a half black, half Korean person. Um, even being half Korean there are so many things that I just didn't know about my culture and things that I really need to adjust to and things that I don't like that's just how it is I don't like it but anyways I know I'm gonna get a lot of bad comments on this video but do know this is just my opinion and also know that I am completely respectful of the Korean culture I'm not over here bashing Koreans left and right it is nothing like that. This is just an informative video for my viewers, especially those who are planning to move to Korea one day. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm also gonna make a video about the things I absolutely love about my Korean culture, and I will share that with you guys as well. So definitely keep a lookout for that video. As always, thanks so much for watching. You guys take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.